Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 2nd of September 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Um, it's the expert level game from the Guardian today. Uh, so I shall be playing that uh, later. I'm not sure if you need to be a genius to play the game. Hopefully not. Um, not usually on a Saturday. Um, even though they call themselves expert. I mentioned the word genius because... Uh, my computer is still messing me around. I'm on a single screen right now. And so I'm going to have to try to make an appointment at what is known as the Apple Genius Bar. I've never been to an Apple Genius Bar before in my life. Uh, even though I've been using Apple products for 30 plus years. Um, so I, I shall wonder what that uh, encounter will be like. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's going on in the news? I see um, in the UK... Um, the Home Office has been found guilty of uh, breaking the law, basically, because the High Court ordered that placing um, solo uh, asylum-seeking children in hotels is illegal, and yet the government is still doing it. So who actually will pay the price of breaking the law when the government is found to have broken the law? Who, who actually pays the price? Nobody, really. Nobody gets punished, do they? What happens? Does the government pay a fine to it so i don't really work, I know how that works but they're just continuing to break the law anyway uh i don't really understand how that works when a government breaks the law is anyone punished anyway we'll find out at some point i suppose okay let's uh, get on with the game of sudoku shall we i'm not sure how this is going to um play out we've got fives blocking across here of course i'm not going to explain the rules of sudoku on an expert level day uh, check in on a Monday, uh, any previous Monday, to find the rules of Sudoku. We've got five blocking across here and five up. Oh, excuse me. Five up here. So that puts five into either this square or this square, blocking back down. That's going to give me a five there. Right, have we had enough of the fives yet? I think we may have just for, just for now. Uh, so anyway, we've got one blocking across here, and so that's going to put one into that square, and down here we'll finish the column with an eight. I like the eights blocking up here and across here as well, so that will put an eight into that square there. We have six blocking across these rows, so that puts a six there. Uh, we have one across here and across here and up there. Uh, we have 9 blocking all these 3 squares, yet we don't have a 9 in this column, so that must be a 9 there.
Um, I think I might have got the easy ones out of the way. Um, but let's go through and see if there are any more easy ones to be found. Okay, that does put four into those squares there. Here we go, five up there, five across here, there's a five. Good job I look for the easy ones, wasn't it? Five up here, there we go, another five. Down, up, across, and across. Okay, we finished off the fives. Two now blocking up here. We'll put the two in that square there. Uh, six, nine. Okay, I've worked out here and down here, but can't get them just yet. Um, So we have a pair of four and eight over here, I believe. We've got four blocking down here and across here, so it puts fours there. And we have eight blocking up here and eight across here, so we have a pair of four and eight down here. Uh, in here, I should say, four and eight. So does that help us with anything else? Uh, we know that this is one, two, and three to complete this column, and this is four and eight. So this has to be uh, six and seven. Right, let's look at the sixes. We know that six is here now. Um, and so sixes will be there. Sixes are up here. Um, Okay, and how about the sevens? Sevens are here. Ah, great, we've got, so, um, okay, so 
this is seven so this can't be seven seven blocking here seven blocking here that's going to be a seven there now seven across here and seven down here leads to us knowing that that is a seven and these two squares are one and three and so this has to be a nine down here now nine across here across here and down here leads to placing a nine there nine going up to the top here and up here means that's a nine we can get there nine across here gives us a nine in this square nine this way and this way means nine goodbye and this will be a six I hear my neighbors' voices again. I'm trying to ignore them. Six, seven, that doesn't help. Okay. Um, shall I come back here? No, this was uh, six and seven, I believe I said. One, two, three, and this was four and eight. Yeah, six and seven. So let's have a look and see if we can get these knowing that that's six and seven so we'll be looking for uh one two three right now we've got one and a three in this column and so that is going to be a two and now we know we need two in one of these three squares here we've got two blocking across here and across here so there is our two and we'll be left with one and three here uh, let's get this missing digit here, which is uh, an 8. And we have 8 across here, across here, and up here. So there is our 8. Uh, we also have 8 down here, across here. There's the final digit, 8 one across here that puts a one here one blocking here there's a one the last number to place here is a four is jumping around the screen as well. I wonder if there's any other problems to be found with my brand new Mac which is which seems to have gone crazy since the system update yesterday. Uh, it was working perfectly fine before then. Ah, got you. There's four down here. Four across here. Here's our four. So four down here and four across here means that's a four and we still need a three to complete this. Uh, for this bottom row we need a two and we need a seven to complete this. Uh, block seven up here seven down here there's our se seven excuse me and we know this was six or seven before so we'll put the six in there now um, up at the top here what are we looking for two okay two across here and two across there there's our two the missing digit here for the row three up here we still need to place a six Here we are missing a three. Three 
three blocks this square here we need a three in this row that's going to be there and we'll finish here with a one and we know we need a one here as well one blocking across here gives us one in that square the missing digit here is a three three blocking this way and down here there's our three and uh, one number to go here what are we looking for um, six I think is so six blocking up there will give me a six in that square the missing number here is a seven seven down here there's our lucky seven and nothing to do with luck this is a four four blocking down here there's the four and the two finishes today's expert level game from the Guardian I quite like that it wasn't that difficult but I quite enjoyed it anyway and uh, that's it so hopefully I'll see you around bye bye